Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ashton Padasale. This is a part 2 video. Currently, we are revising for our DBT, BITP examination. So, first question is, which one of the following is not a feature of agrobacterium ver E protein? So, we had discussed in depth about ver E and rest of the ver genes and the function of ver genes in the last video. So, please watch that particular video. So, here you are asking, which of the following is not a feature of ver E gene? So, first thing, synthesis is induced by ver G protein. Yes, it is correct because ver G is responsible for transcribing all all the vir genes okay next it contain nuclear localization signal yes this vir e will be containing a nuclear localization signal okay next vir e gene is protecting the tdna from being destroyed by the plant defense mechanism correct last option it is a component of t pilus no vir b operon is responsible for forming the t pilus it is not a function of vir e okay so the last option is correct next is eutrophication in aquatic system is due to reduction of it is due to reduction of oxygen oxygen will be heavily depleted how come means since eutrophication means excessive growth of plant and algal growth in a water body Okay, this might be due to when there is an excessive amount of bioavailability of photo factors that are required for photosynthesis, like when there is more amount of carbon dioxide, when there is more amount of sunlight, when there is more amount of nutrients, means this eutrophication occurs and there will be excessive amount of plant and algal growth will be growing. And this eutrophication is a severe, it will be creating a water pollution at the same time, it will be decreasing the quality of water. So, when there is an excessive amount of algal growing means, then ultimately some algal will start to die and there will be heavy biomass will be algal will be generated and they will be sinking towards the bottom. Okay, so now microorganism will be feeding and they will be started to degrade the algae, the de dead algae and dead plants, okay, for which they will be consuming more amount of oxygen from the atmosphere leaving a hypoxia condition. So, at that condition, uh, the large fish or some other uh, organism that are in the aquatic system will be getting decreased. Okay. So, eutrophication in aquatic system is due to a reduction of oxygen. So, oxygen will be reduced. How come oxygen will be reduced? There will be excessive growth of algae and it will be generating a large biomass of dead algae. So, now the dead algae will be sinking. It will be coming to the bottom of the uh, water body and now the bacteria will start to degrade them and they will be excessing amount amount of for degrading the algal biomass the bacteria need more oxygen so it will be consuming the oxygen from the environment so there will be over consumption of oxygen it will be creating a hypoxia condition it will be suffocating the large life form like fishes will become dead okay next is vectors are important in transmission of diseases match the group one with group two okay so definitely one question will be coming from this okay so typhus it is classified in three types so chiggers which is a mite species is responsible for causing scrub and flea it is responsible for causing murine typhus and lysis are responsible for causing epidemic typhus so the louse which is in singular form it is called as lice louse will transmit epidemic typhus okay and ticks these ticks are responsible for causing Lyme diseases. So, they are, they will be acting as a transmittable agent or vector. Mites are responsible for causing scrub. Next is mosquito responsible for causing vestinal fever. So, here you can able to see these arthropods will be acting as a vector. So, mosquito will be acting as a vector for transmitting malaria, filaria, viral encephalitis like Japanese encephalitis, viral fever like dengue, vestinal, viral hemorrhagic fever like yellow fever, dengue, hemorrhagic fever. Housefly will be transmitting typhoid, paratyphoid, diarrhea, dysentery, cholera and other diseases. Sandfly will be transmitting colazar, oriental sword, orea fever. Tedzi fly will be transmitting sleeping signals. And louse is responsible for transmitting epidemic typhus, relapsing fever, trench fever and pediculosis. Rat is responsible for causing bubonic plague, endemic typhus and other disease and blackfield is responsible for causing oncocircosis that is river blindness. Next is reduit bug is responsible for causing chagas disease and heart tick is responsible for causing tick typhus and sometimes it can cause viral encephalitis and viral fevers and tick paralysis and soft tick is responsible for causing Q fever or query fever and lapsing fever. So, relapsing fever is uh, the, the transmitting agent for relapsing fever. There are two things. One is louse and another one is soft tick. Okay, next mites are responsible for causing this rickettsial pox and scabies. Okay, so here I had given 
Mosquito will be acting as a vector for transmitting these diseases which is caused by flavivirus and flea is responsible for transmitting a plague which is caused by a bacteria called Yersinia pestis and Elias is responsible for causing typhus, epidemic typhus which is caused by the bacteria called Echidesia provoxy and ticks are responsible for causing a Lyme disease which is caused by a bacteria called a Sporilla. Next is Mosquito. Okay, so mosquito is responsible for transmitting uh, plasmodium, which is a protozoan, and kissing bug is responsible for transmitting Trypanosoma cruzi. It is a, uh, it is responsible for causing Chagas disease, which is caused by the uh, by the protozoan called Trypanosoma cruzi, and Tetsi fly is responsible for causing sleeping sickness, which is caused by a protozoan called Trypanosoma bruzi, and Espies are responsible for transmitting Leishmaniasis, which is caused by a protozoan Leishmania. Next, these are disease caused by filarial worm, and black flies are responsible for transmitting. Uh, river blindness disease which is caused by the filarial form Oncocerca volvulus and deer flies are responsible for causing this disease lower lower and mosquitoes are responsible for causing filariasis which is also called as elephantiasis which is caused by Uchidia brancocti and Varghia mali. These are the filarial worms responsible for causing filariasis. Okay. Next, which one of the following is an inhibitory neurotransmitter? So, neurotransmitter class B into excitatory neurotransmitter inhibitory. The example of excitatory neurotransmitter include glutamate, epinephrine, non epinephrine, aspartate, and nitric acid. And the example of inhibitory neurotransmitter include GABA, that is gamma amino butyric acid, glycine, serotonin. Okay. So now what is the question they had asked or which of the following is the inhibitory neurotransmitter the correct answer is GABA because glutamate is a excitatory neurotransmitter and your acetylcholine and dopamine they have role of both they will be coming under both excitatory immunotransmitter and inhibitory neurotransmitter okay. So the next question. Uh, is regarding to alpha amanitin which is a fungal toxin which will be inhibiting eukaryotic RNA polymerase. So it has a capacity to inhibit only the eukaryotic RNA polymerase. The three eukaryotic RNA polymerase show different sensitivity to this particular toxin. Which one of the following that is higher sensitivity to lower sensitivity is a correct it represented to sensitivity to uh, sensitivity towards alpha amanitin. So alpha amanitin is a fungal toxin and it is a bicyclic octapeptide. It has two cyclic group at the same time it is made up of eight peptides. Okay. And it is isolated from the death cap mushroom called amanita phylloides. Okay. So it is extremely toxic to eukaryotic RNA polymerase. So first is RNA polymerase one. It is insensitive. In this particular toxin it is insensitive. So it has no effect in RNA polymerase one. It don't disturb the RNA polymerase one function as well as structure. Whereas RNA polymerase 2 have a strong inhibition towards this particular toxin. You can inhibit them at a concentration of 1 microgram per ml. And RNA polymerase 3 is moderately sensitive which is inhibited at a concentration of 10 microgram per ml. And RNA polymerase 4 in plants is slightly sensitive and it is inhibited at a concentration of 50 microgram per ml. So the correct order is that first is RNA polymerase 2 which will be having a high sensitivity followed by RNA polymerase 3. Uh, 3 uh, which will be having a moderate sensitivity and last is a low sensitivity that is RNA polymerase 1 because it do not have any sensitivity the alpha amanitis is uh, insensitive to RNA polymerase 1. So next question will be continued in the part 3. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.